Welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's me, Ayman from Mass Code Tech. And today, we will be learning about while loops. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe this video. And hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's hop right into the video. Today we will learn about while loops. What is a loop? In computer programming, loops are used to repeatedly run a block of code. What is a while statement? The while statement creates a loop that is executed while a specified condition is true. All right, guys. Now we're going to start with our variable. To make a variable, I'm going to type in var. Let's name it loop. So var loop is equals to a quote, some quotation marks, two quotation marks, and end it with a semicolon. You guys are wondering why I have quotation marks, not any numbers or anything else because this is the loop fun and the loops while loops lesson for this is kind of like when you type in your text function we have to type in the message in between the parentheses with our while loop so let's type in hope you all are well okay guys got that done Next, I'm going to make a text function. To make a text function, I will have to type in text followed by parentheses and end it with a semicolon. And in between the parentheses, I'm going to type in note message, but my variable name, that is loop. So loop, comma, space, 30 will be my x value, and... 40 will be my y value. Perfect. Now let's go down. Should we make more steps for the harder way? This is a harder way of getting um, your message again and again and again. So we will have to keep on typing text. Let's copy it and then paste, paste. Yeah, that's enough of pasting. Not too much. Let's add some color in it. So, fill, followed by parentheses, and end it with a semicolon. And in between the parentheses, I'm going to type in 0, comma, space, 255, comma, space, 191. I got my colors. Nice. Love that color. Okay, now I'm going to change my y value for the second and the third text. So let's do that right now. Okay, 40. Let's get it, let's add for 20 to 40. So 40 plus 20 is 60. So let's make it 60. And then the next one. 60 plus 20 this time is 80. Yep, like I wanted. Okay, so this is the harder way. You have to keep on doing and adding like adding numbers, but the easier way to do it is let me just erase these two and make another variable. To make a variable again, we're going to type in var and this time I'm gonna name it y. And is it it's gonna is equals to 40 and with the semicolon. And next, under the text, I'm going to write type y pl plus is equals to 20 and end it with a semicolon. Okay, now I'm going to ch change the y value for our text and make it y. 
All right, guys. Now I'm going to make my variable while variable. Yeah, while variable. To make my while variable, I'm I'll need to type in my while function. To type in my while function, I'll have to make I'll have to type while followed by parentheses and end it with an open curly bracket this time. And in between our parentheses, I'm going to type in y is greater less than let's see uh 30. Let's type in 300 actually. Okay. And now let me close my close curly bracket, open curly bracket with the close curly bracket, bracket. As you guys can see over here, I got all like my message a lot of time, but only using one code. This is the other way. All right, guys, let me show you the other way I was talking about with you guys. Let me erase this. And the next way is that I have to write text followed by parentheses and end it with a semicolon. And in between the parentheses, I'll have to type in my variable name again, as I showed you in the beginning, beginning loop, comma, space, 30 to 40. All right, and then let's fill it. I keep on forgetting to fill my. Okay, I want to make it the same color it was. So let me type in fill, followed by parentheses, and end it with the semicolon. And in between the parentheses, I'm going to type in the numbers, the same numbers again. 255, 191. Alright. Okay, that's the right numbers. But we forgot our semicolon. Okay, you guys. Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. Huh? Alright, end it with a semicolon. Okay, now we have to keep on writing text again and again. Let's do that right now. Text followed by parentheses and end it with a semicolon. And in between our parentheses, I'm going to type in loop. Oopsies. <laughs> okay, in between. Loop, comma, 30, comma, 80. Enter. Oopsies. Okay. Another loop. Let's just copy this. Oopsies. Daisy. Control C. And then. Okay. As you guys can see over here, I have made lots and lots of text. But now, what I'm going to show you guys is the harder way to do, um, get the message for a looping, for looping, so, yeah. Okay, let's change the numbers, 80, that's supposed to be 60, actually, 60, 80, And 80 plus 20 is 100. And then the next one, 80, 100 plus 20 is 120. And then 120 plus 20 is 140. Line 17. Let's see what's wrong on line 17. Okay. Something's wrong on line 16. Okay. 
right, let's just get rid of the 16 one. Okay, we're going to redo this part. Okay. Oops. Okay. Hope you all are well. Quotation marks. And a semicolon. Okay. Guys. Alright guys, I think that's it for this video because I don't know why this way isn't working. But yeah, see you later. Hope you enjoyed. Bye! Alright guys, I really, really wanted to show you the harder way. And yeah, let me just show it to you. This is how the harder way works like. For the harder way, we will still need to make the variable. Var. Name it loop again. You can name it anything else you want, but yeah, it's equals to much of the same thing we did. And in between our quotation marks, let's type in. This time, I don't really want to type in a long list, so I'm just going to type hi. Oh. Okay, and under the variable, I'm going to type in fill to fill in the color. Fill the parentheses and end with the semicolon. And in between the parentheses, I'm going to type in the number 0, comma, space, 255, comma, and 191. And enter. Now let's make text. T-E-X-T -E text by parentheses and end with the semicolon. Between the parentheses, I'm going to type in loop comma space 30 comma space 40 and then enter let's put it on auto refresh because yeah okay and then now I'm going to copy this and paste it paste 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 you guys can't really see it right now, and this is a harder way. You keep, you have to keep on typing text or keep on pasting text. The easier way is a while loop while way. Okay, so let's change the numbers now. Let's keep the first one 40, the second one 60, the third one 80, the fourth one 100, and then the fifth one. 120 and then this last one 140 as you guys see we don't get a lot in that time but if we use while we get a lot more than just typing it everything in so yeah guys 